So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, it's the exact same thing, except now we're not doing an indefinite integral. Now we have a definite integral, right? We don't need that next so We can just put that away. Um, so in this case, now we're actually going to evaluate um, for the value. So again, if we're looking into this, um, typically you guys seem we've been doing a lot of u substitution, correct? A lot of u substitution. So um, we're looking at our u substitution. Uh, one thing I told you guys is to look at that denominator first. So if we're going to say, let's just pretend, let's make 5e to the negative x, or just e to the x, let that be our u. Now let's find the derivative of this. So obviously that's going to go to 0. But when I do like du dx, right? Or well, let's just do du, and we'll multiply by the dx on both sides. Um, I'm going to get a negative e to the x dx. Because that negative I can take on the outside of my derivative, right? I can take out a factor. And then the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So would everybody follow me with that? And what's nice about this is you guys can see by choosing my denominator and finding my derivative, you can see I have e to the x, right? So that works as far as my u substitution. The only thing I have extra is this negative. So I'm going to divide by negative 1 on both sides. And therefore, I just make sure when I plug this in with u that I have a negative. So now, um, oh, and the also, the other thing is I have these um, a bounds, right? So I want to change my bounds um, since I'm going to integrate with u, with respect to u. So I'm going to do u to the 1, which is 5 minus e to the 1 which is just 5 minus e. I'm not going to use a calculator, even if I had a calculator, unless they ask for an exact value or an approximation. And then I do u to the 0, which is going to be 5 minus e to the 0. Remember the rules that I wrote down over there that I erased? e to the 0 is equal to 1, so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So now I'm integrating with a new lower bound of 4, a new upper bound of 5 minus e. And I'm integrating 1 over u du. Please let it sink in for a second and let me know if you have any questions. Oh, there's a negative, right? Is everybody OK with this so far? So one thing I, we need to notice, though, is think about e. e is approximately 2.71. If I subtract 5 minus 2.71, that's going to be smaller than 4, correct? We always want our lower bound to be smaller. So therefore, if we're going to flip it, we have to negate it, right? But it already is being negated. So therefore, now it's going to be positive. So you know, it should look like this, 5 minus e. Now it's positive. Ah positive, it's no longer negative, it turned to positive, over 1 over u du. There's no equal sign there. So now the integral of 1 over u is going to be u absolute value, or ln of u absolute value of u. And that's going to be from 4 to 5 minus e, which is going to equal to the ln of absolute value of 4 minus and then last but not least we also know that we can um, we also know that we can rewrite this as using your rules of uh, rules of your um, Logarithms. This is perfectly fine. That's just a more simplified version. Okay. 